Those anti-Wall Street protests are spreading across the country, but the anger is spilling over into other issues, such as corporate political power and the soaring cost of health care. CBS News correspondent Michelle Miller is on Wall Street where the protests began. Michelle, good morning. Good morning, Russell. This is how it all starts. Every day, protesters wake up from their giant sleep in in this small park in the heart of the financial district. They begin a new day, ready to speak up and speak out. Here in New York, the protest is called Occupy Wall Street, but around the nation, where the movement is picking up steam, it's become Occupy Together. This week, demonstrations were held in more than a dozen cities, from Los Angeles to Richmond, Virginia, to downtown Minneapolis. We're here because we want the big dudes to start paying. With more scheduled this weekend in cities like Indianapolis. One website claims there are online supporters in over 900 cities. Show me what democracy looks like! The downtown Manhattan encampment that started it all is attracting a steady stream of onlookers and reinforcements, including Michelle Snyder, who stops by every day on her lunch hour. In the end, it's to stop economy, the economy from going in such a downturn. Uh, we all just want our middle class back. This week, unions joined the protests, marching through the financial district during rush hour Wednesday. By late evening, police and protesters clashed. 23 were arrested. They're basically sending us a message that says, don't create a society in America where 1% has basically all of the wealth. Frustration over the gap between the wealthy and the middle class is one theme here. But there are as many messages as there are cardboard signs spread along the sidewalk. Those who came by, curious to figure out the point of the protest, seemed a bit confused. But most of them just kind of hanging out. It doesn't look like uh, it doesn't look like they're doing too much. But there's no sign the protesters here or elsewhere are packing up their signs anytime soon. There's no ending date. There is no uh, designated time that it's ending. It's growing every day. And there's really nothing stopping them. And NY told news as long as they abide by the law. They can stay here as long as they like. Russ? Okay, Michelle Miller in downtown Manhattan on Wall Street. Thank you so much.